Sports has the power to bring people together through the toughest of times. And that's exactly what's happening right now in Oneida, as one of their own is in the midst of the fight of his life. Ty Darkangelis has always stood out in the crowd. He's the kind of guy that always, always brings a smile in the room. Always got jokes and stuff like that. He, he never fails to, to brighten up the room, that's for sure. As he was getting ready for his junior year of high school at Oneida, he realized something wasn't right. Well, he came to us um, late in the summer last year and said, uh, you know, I got these lumps in my neck. And, uh, and I said, well, do they hurt or anything like that? He says, no, they're just, they're just there. I said, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> you know, we got, no, we got a doctor's appointment coming up. We'll, we'll check it out at that time. So we, just, we didn't think much of it. At that appointment, Ty's doctor expressed concern, and he was sent right to Upstate Hospital in Syracuse, where this past March he was diagnosed with stage 3 Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was the scariest uh, few hours of my life, I'll be honest with you. Uh, my wife called me at school and, um, and gave me the news, and uh, we, were, we were in the hospital about three hours later. The news hit his Oneida classmates hard. At first, I, was, uh, I didn't know what to say. I just, I was like, really, to, to this kid? Like, I did not, I didn't believe it at all. And then when he told me, I was just like, wow. Ty's doctors, though, already had a plan in place. They were confident. Uh, they told us everything would be okay. It's treatable, um, which kind of set our mind at ease. But that time in between was 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 scary. Ty hasn't missed a beat, including suiting up for the Oneida baseball team. There was no process. The doc, we asked the doctors what his limitations were, and the doctor said there's there's no limitations. Whatever he feels like he can do, um, he's he can do. So right there, um, it was in his hands. And whenever he feels he can be here, he's here. Even as he undergoes chemotherapy. He's not using this as an excuse. Uh, he, he's using it that he just didn't come to play, and that's all a coach can ask for. When a kid shows up every day and puts his effort in, um, is in the back of my mind, absolutely, but when it comes down to it, um, he's a 17-year-old kid playing baseball the way he wants to play baseball. Ty's family is hoping his cancer will soon be a distant memory. He had a midway scan about three weeks ago, and the doctor was very happy with the results. Uh, he, he thinks uh, when we finish this, this fourth round of chemo treatments uh, coming up next week that he's going to be done with it. Uh, so he's thinking that uh, within four cycles, which is 12 weeks, he'll be cancer free. Ty's fight has had a lasting impact on the Oneida family. Anything can happen at any time to anyone, and it just brings us all together and molds us even more. And it reinforces what Lucas Elbro and the Indians baseball team already knew. Just that I love Ty.